Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ran, and I actually had to look back at all the videos I've recorded over the past, I think it's coming up on three years, or maybe, I don't know. I have no concept of time, but I actually had to look back to see if I've ever done a review of the stuff because I've watched this countless times, and like, why do why wouldn't you make a review about that? I decided to pop it in while I was doing my makeup this morning and then just appreciated the ridiculous that is this movie. So the movie starts out rather awkwardly with an older man walking around in the woods, finds a bunch of this white stuff that kind of like really resembles marshmallow fluff just coming out of the earth. And what is the most logical thing you can do in that situation but to dip your finger in it and eat it? I'm obviously being sarcastic. That's disgusting. Don't just... Bleh. I can't. It's gross. I'm a germaphobe. I can't handle that. But that's how the stuff kind of enters everyone's homes and grocery stores and just everywhere that you're going to go for food. They are touting it as, you know no calorie or low calorie. You can eat as much as you want. They're trying to replace other large dessert corporations and put them out of business, which is a huge deal. So they hire Mo. I forget his full name, but he kept saying, well, they call me Mo because every time you give me, me money, I just want Mo. Like, shut up, sir. <laughs> That's the douchiest thing I've ever heard. But I mean, it was the 80s. So there was a lot of that going on. He's hired to um, do some company espionage and derail, you know, the people that are manufacturing this stuff to, uh, you know, shut down the monopoly. He meets up with uh, one of the, I think she's like the head of the ad organization that's really spearheading the stuff uh, commercials and lies to her. But when she finds out, she still kind of just goes along with him and he keeps reinforcing, hey, there's something wrong here. We need to figure out what's going on. Shut it down. There's also a boy living with his brother and his parents. I think his name is Jason. I have a really bad memory and I get distracted very easily. So honestly, names in movies just personally aren't important to me. But, you know, wakes up in the middle of the night kind of awkwardly as well. This movie's just full of awkward and goes into the fridge where he sees the container of stuff leaching out, moving around. No one believes him, of course, because why would you ever believe any child in a horror movie? So he's trying to convince his parents, his brother, there's something wrong with this shit. Don't eat it. Freaks out, throws a huge temper tantrum at the grocery store, which was actually kind of, you know, enjoyable to watch preventing other people from buying this stuff. But of course, no one takes him seriously. And that kid gets grounded. So weird series of events. You know, his uh, temper tantrum makes it to the newspapers or the news, it, whatever. And Mo finds out about it. So they team up. I'm gonna leave it off here as it is spoiler free. But essentially, it's like the blob with marshmallow fluff, which that sounds great. <laughs> what did I like about this movie? I like that it is just such a bizarre movie and the acting is so weird. Just everything is like, you know, it's a ripoff, but it's interesting to watch. And it's definitely become a cult classic. A lot of people are fans of this movie. I'm a fan of this movie. I like to watch this movie just to giggle at the parts that aren't intentionally supposed to be funny. You know, it's it's different times. There's definitely a lot of things you can't say to people that happen in this movie, which is just the cringe that you're in for with probably any 80s movie or any movie that's made, you know, before current times. I noticed I say, you know, a lot in my reviews, and if you want to take a shot every time I do that, I guarantee you'll be blackout drunk by the end of this very short review. Enjoy. Um, I thought, you know, the, the practical effects aren't perhaps the best, but I enjoyed them because they tried. I enjoyed that you could kind of see, you know, 
There we go. In one of the scenes where it's Mo and Lady I Can't Remember and they're in bed and the stuff is coming out of the mattress, out of the pillows, and then jettisons its way onto a wall, you can definitely tell it's that room tilt trick that they used. Specifically, I remember them using this in, I think it was in Nightmare on Elm Street. There's been a bunch of movies that they've used that very, you know, it looks very seamless. It looks great. I could kind of see it. It wasn't, you know, maybe as polished as it could have been, but I appreciated it. I appreciate just, it's so gross. There's not a lot of blood or any blood perhaps in this movie, but if you imagine the stuff being entrails and blood and everything like that, it gets pretty gross, which is great. What did I not like about this movie? I do not like Mo's character. I do not enjoy the way that he talks to people. And he just seems like he's constantly sort of on the edge of sedation. He doesn't react to things the way that the other characters around him are reacting. Like they're screaming or panicking, freaking out. And he's just like, ha 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 ha, yeah, we should run. The side comments he makes are kind of chauvinistic and definitely douchey. Perhaps that is the way that his character was meant to be. That could be the way that he was written, but I just could not connect with him. Ugh. Uh, I don't know. I feel as though maybe they could have explained the origin of the stuff a little bit more other than, you know, it's coming up from the inside of the earth or some part of the earth. It's, it's, a, it's a strange concept. I mean, at least with other movies that have these amorphous substances rolling around and trickling out of things, they give a little bit more of a backstory, but also it didn't take away from the action or the plot or anything in the movie, so I can appreciate that. I found this, I think it's streaming on Tubi as well as, I think it's in the Shutter app on Amazon. When I selected the title, it gave me two different ways to watch, and I believe that the one I watched was Amazon Shutter app. So check that out. If you don't have that, please check out Tubi. They have full-length movies on there. They have channels. They have series. Check it out. They do have a lot of commercial breaks in there, but if you have, you know, maybe if you pee a lot or you have a short attention span and you just need things broken up a little bit, that's great for you. That's great for me. I really enjoy that app. So give it a watch. I mm, would probably rate this like a three out of five. It's definitely not a masterpiece by any measure. It's just a you know, it's not a guilty pleasure because I don't have guilty pleasures. I just have pleasures and I really enjoy watching this movie over and over and over again. It never gets old. I like to introduce other people to this movie because the, just the, the look of confusion on their faces is so worth it. I always love that. So have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts on this movie? Let me know down below in a comment. Like the video if you did like the video. Or you could like the video if you like Fluffernutter or if you have been doing the drinking game I mentioned before and you need help, give it a like. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Reanimator. My solo as well as reviews with the groom are available in podcast form. On iTunes, thank you to the Farsighted Network. I haven't recorded in a few weeks, so I'm a little rusty and I forget my outro, but I hope everyone is doing well. And, uh, you know, this, I almost forgot. The whole time I was watching this movie, all I could think about was pineapple. Because as you are eating the pineapple, the pineapple eats you back. Think about that.